Okay, so where is he? Oh, he's in that house. He's flanking me. In Soviet Russia, alien flank you. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, so that leaves me with a couple options right here. Our maximum accuracy shot that we can make is gonna be a 35% shot. Not really the type of job quality that I'm looking for right now. I'm gonna have him sprint over. Please don't have a... Yeah, okay, I was gonna say please, please, please don't have a reaction fire. I'm actually gonna go out of my way to surround this guy, I think. I should probably turn around and make sure there's no aliens off that way, too. I'll have him cover this way. It'll work out. There's no flanking bonus in this game, luckily. So, I, well, there is, I guess. I don't know. It says he has a shot? Really? Sure, why the hell not? Make him shake a little bit. Make him worry. So, I thought the alien was over here, when in fact, the alien was over here. Doing a little bit of the old sneaky sneaky. Did he just shoot himself? What in the hell? That's a critical failure. I was reading chat again, but uh, we're not flanked right now. We're not flanked. It's going to be okay. I believe. You just have to believe hard enough. It's like fairy dust. You just have to be sure that if you believe hard enough that you're not flanked, you won't be flanked. I can't even see him anymore. It's time to go take a look. Oh, there he is. I don't know if I want to do this or not. This might be a bad decision. Run around the back of the house, and next turn you can get up in there and take a shot at him. Basically just surround the building. I don't feel like digging him out. Hey, what's up, Don? Welcome to the stream. I believe we're actually not going to deal with that many aliens on this map. I think that's probably the only one, so I'm going to preemptively get people started setting up for the breach over here. In fact, we have enough people to breach right now. I may actually try and capture a civilian. I think if we can throw some... God, itchy nose from allergies. Trees just having sex all over the place. Just, just like glomping all over the place. It's bad. Killing me right now. I think that's just about everybody. I think I have assigned all activities which need to be assigned right now. Oh! <laughs> oh. Well, that changed my emotion about the situation. <laughs> I was excited. Did he... <sighs> Passed out from blood loss. Like a punk. Like a punk. How are you going to pass out from blood loss? Man up. It's go time. Blood is just the body's reaction to strife. Nothing else. Move everybody over to there. And so he apparently bled out. I guess. And so let's get ready for this breach. And seeing how terribly I'm playing right now, we are really lucky that nobody has died yet. Like, that's a legitimate point that I have to raise. Like, they could have all been KIA by now, and yet they keep coming back. They're just wounded for a really, really long time. Our soldiers are all well maimed. Alright, let's get set up for this activity, as we always do. Bypass a turn to get all them TUs back. And once we've got the TUs... Oh my god, he's right there. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to shoot my own guy in the ass when I do this. It says that there's no chance of it happening, but I don't trust the game. I don't trust the game at all. I guess I'll just take him out, and then we'll just hope we don't get shot. Cross your fingers? Okay, so we survived. I like surviving. Surviving's a good thing. 
with Petrova. Let's go ahead and get a gas grenade in there. Ooh, he fired back. That or his finger twitched or something, I don't know. Let's go ahead and shoot our shots here. Taking some really nasty shots, just not able to make it connect. Let me get Baker out of here so that I can bring somebody else in. Well, at least he's suppressed, that's good. And now... Oh, I can't even sidestep? Damn. Okay, so we'll go diagonals. Really? That's rare. Okay. And so what we're gonna do now is we're actually just gonna hope that this guy gets gassed out. Oh, he did! Good! We captured a civilian! Awesome! That's super great. I don't even know if I've ever captured a civilian before. Civilian analysis. Do we even have any research running right now? Because I think we've just been caught up in combat so much that it's like... Yeah, Party Commissar, the smoke gives them... When you throw the purples in there, it gives them the same coverage as like a mini smoke grenade. So, I mean, usually with a 15% chance though on 10 shots, they usually make a shot at least once. But it's, it's hard to tell. Sometimes, meh, the odds are against ye. And so we've got, ah, everything is done now at Decrib, except for, like, some of the things. But most of the things are done. Now we can add more hangers, so we'll do that. Let's add a couple more hangers. Oh, did that guy, did Noel die for real? Oh, that's balls. How come it's always Noel? Like, maybe I'm just using him, maybe I just use Noel too aggressively. But it felt like he was just getting repeat shot the entire course of the game, like over and over and over again. Like, who's getting shot today? Noel's turn. I'm gonna do, we'll add Yosef Zaleski to the team. He's gonna be a new rifleman. So, Yosef, welcome. Don't expect to live long because I'm going to use you as the fall guy for every situation from now on. Because you are the low ranking, you are that new guy with no points on your record. Sucks to be you, pal. The rest of us are going home in like two weeks. There's a seniority system. I know how Vietnam worked. <laughs> the longer you've been here, the more you get to stay alive. And it's weird, Vengeance, because, like, he is our red shirt, but he had such good stats that he should have been a main character, and yet he just couldn't make it. He couldn't make it. We can go with the improved combat armor right now, or we can go for... I think we should probably do Season Analysis, because that'll give us a damage boost against them, and then we'll do Civilian Analysis right after. Those should almost get completed instantly, I think. And then I also need to go to Decrib. I need to buy me some planes here. Let's go ahead and get a couple Condors rocking. And so those are expensive, but I think we've we still got $829,000, so... We've still got cash. So there's the, the season analysis. I've never done a civilian analysis, so let's do the civilian analysis and see what we get out of it. I've never once captured a civilian. Usually they stop showing up somewhere about this point in the game. Let's go ahead and intercept ourselves a enemy. We'll go Hollywood and Danger Zone out here. We'll also go Iceman and Goose on the second one. So there's number one down. And there's number two down. These ones I don't think we're actually going to fight. I'm going to try and get some research done, so let's just go ahead and airstrike those since they were just little ones anyways. We've done all of our captures. Yeah, Vengeance. The pilot's name from Firefly was Wash, because I think his last name was Washburn or something like that. But yep. Don't. No spoilers. Don't spoilers. Nope, nope, nope. I don't think that... I haven't put... I think there's a delay on chat right now, Tamla, and there's also... I think there's like a mandatory delay for just the general footage that goes out. Got one day left on those. We have people here. Let's go ahead and hire people. Is this our living quarters right here? I think it is. Let's go ahead, since we've got our living quarters, let's go ahead and order some soldiers for this place so that we can have our second team. I'm going to try and go by accuracy first. So you, you, you. And then we need a couple people with good strength. So there's one right there. Bad accuracy, though. God awful accuracy. Frankly, I feel like everybody, we've got a pretty good mix of guys right here. And then we'll get a couple of the good ones off the list from the second group. And so there it is. 
I think that'll allow us to have a couple of soldiers who can actually get down over here and destroy the enemy. Alright, and so we've got another... I don't even think I have anything I can intercept that with. So it's just going to fly around North America free of free of any sort of hindrance. There we go. Now we've got jet fighters so we can fight back. I need to put in another hangar. And perhaps... Yeah, let's do that. So we've got the hangars. I'm... <laughs> Watch. The movie Paul was... I don't know if that was Simon Pegg's... I don't know. I think I just watched... I watched the one where they got to do the pub crawl, where they have to do like 10 pubs in one night. The... I forget the name of the movie now. I have it. But anyways, I thought that one was... I felt like that entire... I felt like that entire movie was a setup to the final joke where Bill Nye just says humans suck. But Paul... I don't remember Paul very well. I saw Paul. I know for a fact I saw Paul, but I can't remember it. We need a workshop here, so let's go ahead and strap one of those down. Because they're... It's like Velcro underneath it right now. It just keeps floating away. The world's end, that's the one. I'm gonna go with... I don't think I need a missile battery here right now. We've pretty much locked down everything that we need. I'm not gonna develop this one too much. I don't think your bases get attacked like they do in XCOM. I can't recall. I can't recall. They might. Sooner or later, the aliens are gonna start plopping down bases all over. Wow, he is ready to go. He's in metal mode right now. He's like cheering like Dio's on stage or something. I sort of want to read this, but then again... It's okay, there's time later. I'll come back later and we'll take a look. I need to do alien plasma technology, which will give us... Uh, whatever gives me lasers, I need that. So whatever gives me lasers, let's get going, because I feel like our weapons are a little bit behind the curve right now. And I want to be in... Like, the curve is here, and we're right here. I want to be, like, right here. Like, in the munchy bit, like, so the alligator's mouth, where it's like, nom 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 nom. This right here is not delectable to the alligator bits. This over here, totally delectable. Items ordered to decrib have arrived. Are those items my soldiers, perchance? I'm gonna buy another condor. And what else was I doing over here? Oh yes, that's right. So we're gonna have four condors and a landing craft. And I think that should be about it. Yeah, that should work out. Yeah. I gotta stare at stuff sometimes. I get confused a little easy. Gotta stare at things and figure out what it is that I'm doing every now and again because my mouth uses up all the oxygen for my brain. It happens every single time. It's bad. It's really bad. Danger Zone and Goose, you're going to be going over there. And Iceman and Hollywood, you're going to be going over there. And we've got a third UFO. Damn. Okay, so let's shoot that one down. Chase that one all over the planet so that it can taunt us and come back and make us look embarrassed. That's bad. We've got the little crash site over here. I don't know if I should continue to... I'm just going to airstrike that one. We need a little bit more cash. Oh, and that one was inside our zone, too. It was all up in our zone, and I wanted to take care of it. Hmm. Disappointing. Go to the base over here, and... I need to buy some more aircraft. That's what I needed. So I need a Condor, and I need a dropship. And so there it is. We have actually spent all of our money now. We are broke as a joke. So now that we're all out of lovely things to purchase, at least for now... We just gotta wait it out. Wait for the aliens to show up and we'll start shooting them down. We got Condor 3 and 4 over here that are gonna go shoot him. Oh, never mind. Return to base. Don't worry about it. We'll intercept him then. Condor 5. Let's. We'll send one plane. But I'm not so sure. If it's one of the medium sized ones, we won't be able to stop it. Yeah, it's one of the medium sized ones, so we'll go ahead and disengage him. Alien plasma technology. So now we can get to laser weaponry, which is going to be important for us. So let's go ahead and capture some laser weaponry. I'm sorry, research some laser weaponry. Once we've got the laser weaponry, return to base. God, they are swarming North America right now. This is problematic. There we go. So let's engage him. He's now downed. I don't want to send new guys that have no experience against a medium uh, spacecraft because it'll just be way too many enemies for him to deal with. It'll be... It'll get really... We'll, we'll lose a lot of guys. We will lose human life, and it will be embarrassing, so we're not going to deal with it. We're almost done over there. Let's just wait for lasers to get done. And so there's our second month's report. We got 
$2.4 million, but after, one thing I don't like is you get the total monthly funding, but underneath it, it doesn't tell you how much you had for your expenditures. I wish that it said how much our expenditures were, because it just says you get $2.4 million, but if we look at the number over here, it only gave us like 600000 I mean, you can do quick back of the envelope math real fast if you need to, but... Yeah, auto resolve that guy. And then this is going to be the first mission for our new guys who actually haven't been equipped. Let's go over here and we need to give them. What the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. An advanced med pack? Where did that come from? Oh, is it from the civilians? Oh, cool. I didn't read the definition, but what happened is the civilians, they regenerate every single turn. And so we've given ourselves advanced med packs. That's really badass. Let's go through and find ourselves. You're obviously a heavy because your strength is really high, but you're terrible at everything else. So there's our heavy. You are good at being accurate. You are pretty terrible at everything, so I'm going to call you a shield. There it is. And for the shield, I just want a bunch of smokes, to be honest. I'm sorry, not stun grenades. Yeah, stun grenades. You're always at the breaches, so let's go a bunch of smoke grenades, too. With the rifleman, I don't know if that's the best choice for her. Rifleman's probably the right choice for her. We'll get rid of one of the frags, one of the smokes, and one of those because she's not very strong. Or I'm sorry, he's not very strong. Nagako, Tets or, uh, Nagako Yasuda. Decent accuracy. You can stay as a rifleman. Terrible strength, though. Hopefully that'll get cleared up after a couple level ups. So there's my three riflemen. Let's find somebody... With reasonably decent accuracy. Where did these guys come from? These guys are terrible. Did it just auto-assign these? I think it probably just auto-assigned these to Charlie 3 or whatever. Oh, they're unassigned, so I'm actually just working with everybody right now. Hey, what's up, Plasma? I think that... I'm going to select a little bit better. So, obviously, we need a heavy right there. You're in. Obviously, all of these guys are in because they're the only ones with decent accuracy. They're terrible at everything else, but it's a crop full of privates. I mean, what are you going to do? Most of these guys are probably going to die long before we ever complete a mission. Unless I play super carefully. And for John Gabriel, you're not very good. Oh, God, all you guys are terrible. Well, you're strong enough to be a heavy, so we'll bring you along. And we'll just assign somebody else randomly. There we go. And so now what we need is we already have heavy weapons on here. I don't like doing this. We've got Holm, so Holm's going to be our second heavy guy. Heavy girl. Don't call a girl heavy. Don't call any girl the heavy girl. That's a terrible, terrible plan. It's probably not going to end well for you. Just don't do it. Actually, I'd rather get rid of the flash grenades before I get rid of anything else. I call her the heavy girl because I'm a superior officer and I can get away with it. But in any other case, wouldn't risk it. Wouldn't risk it. Snipers. We need snipers. So snipers going to be Yasuda and Hendrix. So looking at Yasuda, there she is. We'll call you a sniper. Call her all sorts of things behind her back, but a sniper is what we're going to call her right now. She can't carry a lot with her either. And it was Yasuda and who? It was Hendrix. No, Hendrix was... What? Hendrix, you're a sniper. You can't be a shield. There we go. Hendrix is a sniper. And so that leaves us with three riflemen right now. Four riflemen, right? One, two, three, f four. Okay, and so one of these guys, looking at the squad list, has to be more terrible than the others. So we have riflemen. These two are riflemen. We can basically choose between these two. They're both terrible. I think I'll probably go with the HP, so we'll go with Shaw as our shield. He's got higher HP, and it'll work out better. So Shaw, there he is, and we'll call you a shield. Cool. And so actually, I'm thinking I'm probably going to break off the stream, like in the next. We've been going for about three hours now. I think my voice is feeling a little bit tired, so I'll probably break it off pretty shortly. We'll do one more mission, though, with the new guys, just to show it off. You can carry all kinds of good stuff, man. Get that stuff in there. So I'll probably call 3 o'clock like the breakoff point for this one. Three hours of footage. I'm feeling pretty tapped out. So let's go back. And we've got that right there. And at the crash site, we're going to do Charlie 2. And then we'll drop him on in. 
Send Iceman and Hollywood off after that alien. And we will engage on what will look like our final mission. Renaming soldiers after your friends and family will make their deaths more tragic and hilarious. See what I mean about the devs? There it is. That's what I mean about the developers. <laughs> Ooh, just name them all after my bosses. Oh, and I didn't set up my formations either. Noob move, bro. Let's go ahead and take a look around. Shield can go out the side, make sure that nothing terrible is going to happen. And can you make it to there? These guys are going to have terrible movements, so we've got to start out just being kind of skeptical of any of their capabilities. Actually, what I want to do now is I'm going to put in a... I know this map, so I'm going to put an away team over here. This heavy is going to continue out. We'll take a rifleman over here with them. We're going to split into two squads of four, basically. And basically, the aliens can be down here a whole bunch, or the aliens can be up here a whole bunch. And it doesn't tend to be both. It tends to be one or the other. Okay, and we're already taking fire, or at least somebody's taking fire right now, which is not the nicest thing to do, especially when it's cold out. But this is probably going to be really, really bad. Commandeer the tractor. He's just hanging the 50 cal out the side. Just... <laughs> awesome. Let's go ahead and get everybody into a firing position, because they tend to advance on you pretty quickly. I didn't get to... That's probably not going to block anything, but... This over here, now what we want to do on this side is let's send out a meat shield first. No, no, no. Oh, go back. I'll send you instead. Go ahead and creep somebody forward. I'll see you later, Prophet. Take it easy, man. And then we will... Basically just deploy along the edges is what I like to do. And then you put the sniper in the center. And so you deploy people along the edges to go and scout out and see if there's anything down this super huge head, like hedgerow. And then if there is, the sniper's already in position to take anybody out that's going to be a problem. Over here, we're already deployed. It looks like everybody's used up their TUs. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And so, let's continue forward. When he comes around this corner, he's going to check left. We have a guy who appears to be being shot at, so let's go ahead and advance with this group. We get the shield on in right here. Give her a little bit of TU just to use the shield a bit more proficiently. And then we'll have the heavy gunner just stand right here, and we'll just kind of wait and see what happens. This guy... We're going to bring him up along the side, just as we did before. We're going to move the sniper up to the junction right here, so that he can fire in either direction if we need him to. And then we'll end the turn. <laughs> My war garbles. I have war garbles. I definitely have war garbles when things go wrong. I'm not going to go much further. I'm going to leave him right there, and we're just going to overwatch this thing. Let's try and move everybody else into firing positions, though. Because if you're already here... We've got two snipers now that are both staring down a barrel at each other. Nagako Yasuda and... Dan Hendricks with the extra A. That's his new nickname, Double A. Alright, I'll see you later, Mortis. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging around. I didn't realize it was so late where you're at, so... Thanks for hanging around and enjoying the first stream, I suppose. I'll see you when you, I guess, either on YouTube or I'll see you when we do another stream. Good luck with that five hours, man. That's brutal. And the turn right there, and we will continue. I think he's still, I don't know if he's being shot at or if he's just like ducking and covering for safe measure. If he's not sure what's about to happen. I'm going to peek this. I see blood and a boomstick. Turn around. Go back this way. So, we have one guy who died over here. In fact, he was vaporized, which is really bad for him. I mean, I, I would suppose that is... I, I, would, I would suppose that I would take being vaporized when the opposite option is to sit there and bleed out covered in burning plasma, but still. He's flinching as though he's being shot at. We're going to set up for the breach over here. Yeah, I'm in the West Coast too, Commissar. 
that's I tried to do it around my schedule since I felt like there was really just like no other option. I was like, well, I'm just going to do it at 12 in California time because it works out for me. And then if people can't make it, it's all good. I didn't really do a very good job of announcing like what was going to be happening with the stream or basically making people aware of the situation. If I was smart, I would have her cross the street because he's going to be firing inward at anything that crosses the road. Why did the alien cross the road? They came out? What? I've never seen that happen. In like 30 hours played, I've never seen them come out of the ship. Wow. That changes everything. I've never seen that happen before. No way. He came out of the ship. Hmm. Let's engage in a gun battle over here. Spontaneity indeed, Vengeance. I'm not even sure how to react to that situation. That's like one of those weird things that's just never happened before. Let's go ahead and have the heavy gunner take him out. Suppressing my own troop, but that's fine. She's ducked and in cover behind pre-existing cover, so it should be okay. That's bad. That's really bad. I mean, these are a bunch of... This is a crop of noobs, so I don't really care what happens to them. It's not something that concerns me. If you lose, like, a private in this game, it's like, whatever. Who gives a shit? He's fine. Wipe it off, you weenie. What, you need a hanky? It'll be fine. Get on out of here. And so now, I think that's just about everybody. Number three has not acted. But that's because three is going to use an aim shot if anything tries to come out of that ship. Although, I think he'll probably just try and engage with the suppressed unit. Unless they all just hang tight. What? The AI is being weird on this mission. I don't even know if that was a programmed occurrence right there. I think something's gone wrong because he didn't fire any shots on this turn. He was suppressed though, I guess. There we go. Get that rock the hell out of the way. And I don't know if I want to... I don't know what shot I want to take right here. I'll move to there. Oh, the rock is still in the way. Okay, well, we've got a flanking action coming from this side. And since he's not suppressed, he may come back this way and kill that private. But that's a risk I'm willing to take with somebody else's life. Because I'm an asshole like that. We use the hay bale as cover. And kick off a combat. Damn, they get so many reactionary fires. Brutal. I'm gonna put him right there. I don't want. They can use burst fire, so I'm trying not to get too close because burst fire, as I said before, can accidentally hit people that you didn't intend. I'll put the shield right here too, so that on the next turn she can block it off, and maybe we can like gas grenade him or something. I was wondering if that would be enough to bait him out. Sometimes, please don't shoot my own troop. I would really, really kind of appreciate it. See, these corners right here shouldn't count. This is actually a bug that's existed in the game for a really, really long time. Basically, from the outside, you cannot shoot this corner. But from the inside, you can shoot this corner. Or maybe they made it so you can shoot it from both ways now. I don't know. He's suppressed, though, so he's not doing anything on this turn. Let's go ahead and handle a couple of his scaled problems here. One might say that his problems are <laughs> out of scale. <laughs> that shot we can't make for sure. And then you have no TUs left, so I would love for you to no longer be in the line of fire, but it looks like it's not going to be an option. I could try. Oh, I don't have enough for that either. I was going to try and put a little smoky on down here, but oh well. I didn't listen to my lessons from history, and now I'm fighting a two front battle. And it's all my own fault. Finally, that rock is... That was a rock that just refused to go anywhere. How is that a blocked shot? Come on now. 27 TU for that? Yeah, go for it. Why not? And then get out of the way. Because apparently it's a blocked shot. I'm doing pretty good, Mina Nation. I'm doing alright. I'm chilling. Having a pretty good day. I mean, we're not playing... I'm not very good at Xenonauts, so that's not going very well. But, oh, you son of a bitch. You gotta be kidding me. Most accurate aliens ever. 
She's bleeding, so we really kind of need to handle this problem, like, right now. Let's go ahead and put a couple nades on this guy. I'm sick of looking at him. Beginning to become a frustration for me. Try a gas grenade, too. Sometimes those work. Yeah, there it is. Sleep tight, ugly. And so over here, this should be an easy... No! <laughs> Out of ammunition at the wrong moment. Why me? Why me? Well, if this guy gets killed too, it's just going to be a mess. So we have no bleeds out over there. And I think we're going to be alright on this side. God, can you please make a shot? Like, I know you're new to this, but really? There we go. See, take that guy's example. Or, I'm sorry, that lady, Private Clara, just totally unleashed on that guy. A 13 HP heal. And now she bled out. <laughs> oh my god, my crop full of rookies. They're just having the worst day. Oh, you can make this shot. I believe in you. I hate rookies. I hate them so much. They're just the worst. There we go. He heard what I said, and he got he got serious about it. We have two KIAs, but they're private, so it doesn't really matter. I think this is where I'm going to break off the stream, you guys. So I had a really good time streaming today. I'm probably going to start doing this a lot more frequently. I think, yeah, it's Gallipoli style. Just throw bodies at them. It'll work out fine. And so with our new guys, they've all managed to level up a little bit. This seems like a good spot to break off the stream. I may start, I don't know, I may do a different game in the stream each time. I haven't really decided. Like, there's so many games that I want to cover that a lot of the time I feel like maybe that's what I should use the stream for is like well, anything that's caught my interest lately that I don't have time to LP I can just come back and you know play it on the stream for a couple hours and show it off to you guys but anyways thanks for dropping by I really appreciate you guys taking the time to stop off at my first stream I mean it makes it a lot more fun to have an audience so I'll see you guys next time bye guys